so I'm going to show you guys how to use a pad keeper or pad spacer today. If you have a Trek Domani like this, you may have an Allen key that is a six mil Allen key that will enable you to take the wheel off. It's magnetic, so you can store it on the front wheel. Um, it will just pop into place. It'll stay there. Now you may have to remove it to get the right angle. So in this case, I'm gonna put it down like that and I'm gonna pull and we're just gonna thread this out. So this is called a through axle. Um, notice I'm trying to hold the bike because in the real world, you're not gonna have a bike stand like we have. So you're gonna pull the wheel out, it's very simple. The most important part about this process and why you have this pad keeper right here is you can't squeeze the brakes or you need to try not to squeeze the brakes um, when the wheel's not in because the brakes will self-align to not having a rotor in here and you will not be able to get the wheel in or if you do get the wheel in, it's gonna rub, okay? So that's where this pad keeper comes in. Notice how it's got a little L. The L shape is gonna go towards the inside. The back part is gonna line up parallel to the edge of the brake pads. So you're gonna take this, the little clip piece is gonna clip into that right there. Notice so I'm trying to do all this by myself. And the reason I'm trying to do this by myself is because you guys are gonna have to do it yourself. So what I do is I stick my foot behind the rear wheel like that. So now the bike won't go anywhere, all right? So now I'm gonna take this pin, I'm gonna try to line up with that slot and I'm gonna slide it in. So slide in, I don't know if you can hear that, I'll be quiet. So, all right, so there you go, okay? So there's a little piece in the bottom Stuck in, it's in there. Now you can squeeze the brakes with no issues. All right, pull out, do the exact opposite. Let the bike roll down, slide the wheel in like that. And all you're gonna do, insert your quick, your uh, through axle, make sure it threads in properly. All right, so there we go. Make sure it's nice and snug, pull your Tool out. If you want to store it on the rear wheel, just push it in magnetically and it will sit right there like that. And that's how you use a pad keeper or a pad spacer. Thank you.